welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So I just wanted to apologize for being gone for so long. I was like ready to like film a video on Monday, which is going to be my weekend news. And um, my dad ended up having to go into the hospital and he's been there all week. So it's just, it's been too hectic to make a video because um, I haven't even been home. I've been in the hospital with him. He finally came home yesterday, which was Friday, so that was really good. But, yeah, that's why I haven't been here, and it's been really upsetting because now I've got a lot of books to update you on um, because I have a weekend news and a weekly wrap-up, and I'm going to combine them into this video to share with you. And, yeah, so let's just get started because it's going to be kind of a long one if I don't. So the first book I read last weekend was Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard. This is the fourth book in the Pretty Little Liars series. I gave this one, I think, four stars. I think this is the first one that I haven't given five stars to. Um, we finally find an A, so that made me happy, but I feel like some of it just kind of dragged out and is kind of slow, but I'm still really enjoying the series, and I'm glad I finally found an A because I don't have any of the other books in this series. So I can't continue it on for a while, so I'm glad that I have somewhat of an ending, even though it's not an ending. Um, the next book I read on Sunday, I was so excited to read, and that was Diva by Jillian Larkin. This is the third book, This well, the third and final book in the Flappers trilogy, and oh my god, I love this series. Like, people say, like, oh, it's really, like, not anything special. It's not, but it's, like, the funnest thing ever. It takes place in the 20s, follows three girls, drama, mobsters, killings, boyfriends, fiancés, drama, drama, drama. And I love this series. I think it's so fun, and I'm going to miss it terribly. I think I might make my mom read it just so that way I could live it again through her. And then the next two books have to do with each other, and I read them throughout the week. And that is The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, which is book four in the Percy Jackson series. I think it's hilarious because I only was going to read The Lightning Thief this month, and clearly I went above and beyond that. I gave this four stars. Again, something just, I know why people like it, but I don't understand the whole, like, this is the best book series ever thing yet. I, mm. I liked it though, so I gave it four stars, so I'm excited that I did get to read these this month. And obviously I said it was related, so that means I also read The Last Olympian by Rick Ford, and this one jumped up to a five, just because of the ending, and I just liked that it had, everything came together, and it sets up this plot to bring on to the spinoff series, because I was trying to figure out where the spinoff series was going to come from. Um, so yeah, I gave this five stars. Good ending. And I cannot believe I read the entire series in the month of January. But I did. I did it. And then the last book I read yesterday, because my dad finally came home and I was actually able to sit here and read. And I read The Eye of the Minds by James Dashner. Um, the only reason why I rushed to finish this at the end of the month is because this was book 20 of January. What? I cannot believe I read 20 books in January. It just oh, baffles my mind. The fact that I was so close to 20 was why I like pers persevered. I like pushed myself to finish this last night. I finished it at like 1040 and I gave this three stars. I didn't love this book. I liked it but I felt like something was missing. This is about a boy named Michael and he lives in like this place where like you can like get in a coffin and go into a virtual world and he likes you basically kind of almost like live in this virtual world but you come back and you can feel things when you're in this virtual world like as if it was real he's got three friends there weird things are starting to happen he witnesses a girl basically kill herself in the virtual world but she made it like real by taking out her core so when she died there her real body died too and, like, there's people that have been going missing, and the VNS, which is, like, their, like, FBI, enlists Michael's help because he is a very good, like, hacker, and they want him to get this other hacker, which they believe is causing all these problems. So he and his two friends, Sarah and Bryson, go trying to find this hacker, 
and crazy things happen, and the plot twist at the end, oh my goodness, which is why I kind of bumped it to a 3.5 stars. The ending has a big plot twist, which I did not see coming, which I liked. But the thing that I thought it was missing was you're in this virtual world, and the only thing that ever makes you think that you're in a virtual world is the fact that they're programming things and they're looking at codes and the fact that, like, they, um, if they die in the virtual world, they can basically wake up in the wake world. So I don't, that was, like, the only time that you would ever reference, like, oh, I'm in a game, I'm not really in real life, and I just feel like the world could have been built a little better. That was my only issue. But, um, yeah, that's all I read this weekend slash week. I love how I just said it like I didn't read anything. But those are the last five books of January. I'm going to be making a February TBR, I think, tomorrow. Um, I'm debating if I want to do a wrap-up just because there are 20 books. Um, I'd probably just, like, show you a picture of them if you would, and, like, give my star rating. Would you be interested in something like that? Let me know down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.